It's me, Keegan. And me, JC. And Brittany. And Eric. And you're watching Smoky Mountain Family, and today we're at... We're here at the grand opening of Arcade City beside the Chicken Guy restaurant right here on the Strip. It's probably loud and kind of raucous. It is packed down here in Gatlinburg tonight. So we're about to go in here and check out the arcade and take you guys with us. Let's get it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. No crossing road. Hey, what's y'all's name? Jason. Ronnie. Ronnie, nice to meet you nice guys. To meet you, All right. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Aim for the bonus. Lift handle up. Push down the line. You got it. Yeah, pull it down to watch it. Hard. Thirty, thirty tickets. Do the snowball toss. Forty. Yeah. Nothing. What are you about to play? I'm about to play the basketball game. I have to play on the Lakers side instead of the Celtics side. It goes to the Lakers side and more balls. So. And you got to beat 132. 132. Ah. Uh. on that one. Plinko. My favorite game on Price of Right. What'd you get? Yeah, you want those? Wait. 
good arcades, we know the good games, like we stay away from the ones that give you like two tickets. We've never walked out with that little amount of stuff. We'd have put up a dinosaur that was like this tiny, that would be in quarter machines. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if it's connected. There's a door connecting it to Chicken Guy and the employees in Arcade City was going inside that door. They had said that the same company owns both, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, these guys, our subscriber was here and he had a lot of luck on the Wizard of Oz and uh, Willy Wonka, I think it was Willy Wonka. And we, seen when we were coming to an end, we had like no tickets and that's how we got any tickets at all. I'd say that's the only games that are worth it for tickets and I would stay there, I would not venture off. There's this pearl game that we love to do and we do it at the Space Needle all the time. And we would get at least 10 pearls they give you three here, so that's three turns, which is At uh, Space great. Needle, you press I used the button to always three times. do you it. You press the button three I, mean, I was wondering why I had to keep sliding the card. I was like, what is going on? I never would have thought it was because I was getting three turns on a game that normally gets at least 10. There also wasn't Crossy Road or Flappy Bird, which they're newer, and you can get a lot of tickets that way. Like, that's how I do it. So I feel like they kept games out of there that would do that. There was VR games that you can get tickets for, but they were $5. And there was this one that implied a winner every time on this um, spray game, the water gun. But you won like, how many tickets was it, Keegan? 90 tickets. You won. But the bad thing was it like advertised you getting like a squishy mellow. Like why is the squish mellow there if you yeah. don't win it? I don't understand that. And it doesn't tell you that you don't win. And it doesn't tell you there. I've read everything that was there. It doesn't give you a heads up. I feel like it's kind of like a gotcha kind of thing. Like I feel like you walk out of there like, I don't know. Like it's not, like there's a lot of arcades here. This is in it. I would skip it. And we are getting a top five series. So five is solely because staff and there was some new games. Even if they didn't get you tickets, they look cool. That's the only reason there's a five. Like as far as prizes is concerned, our subscriber also said that he was find, having trouble finding things that they, that they to spend those tickets with because they're like kind of lame for real. Like you can find them in five below for five dollars or less. So a five for me. What do you rate it, Keegan? Um, I rate it a six because. On the game that mommy was talking about, where like advertising getting a squish mount, it gave you like 90 tickets, and it was like two dollars per game. And it didn't tell you that you didn't get a squish mount, and also didn't tell you that you, how many tickets you got if you win. And but the, um, there were some games there that I've never seen before, like the um, monster game and the snowman game, and then a couple of other little games. But the staff were really nice, that they didn't have that good prizes either, and the prizes were really expensive. What did you rate it? I think it's six. six. What are you rated, Jay? Yeah, I'm sad about it because I wanted to like Chicken Guy. I wanted. Well, it's well, not Chicken, chicken Guy. guy. Yeah, this is just the arcade. Yeah, the arcade, yeah. but kind of like. You were looking forward oh. to that opening. Yeah, you yes. were looking forward to this arcade, right? Yes. And by the way, it's like. What did you rate it? I rated it five. And the games that wanted you to like, that you think that's like the most best at Space Needle, it's not the best. Like the pro game. Only three, and I used to get like a lot of good records. Yeah. Like a lot of good records. And all the games were just, uh, why would they have a smushy mellow if we're not getting a smushy mellow? Right. So, what are you ready, babe? Okay, so if you are someone like us, like we love arcades, you know, that's just, you know, what we do. Um, and we come in with a purpose so we we enjoy playing but we also want to be strategic in making sure that we get enough tickets at the end of where our girls can get up, go up to the counter and get a lot of stuff so if you're like us this is going to be a disappointment for you as already stated for the reasons that's already stated i can tell you this i don't remember the last time and mark and correct me if i'm wrong i don't remember the last time that i went into an arcade and played the basketball game and didn't beat the record. And it was like you were making almost every shot. So I, I don't know how you. It was like, like the, the second high time were yeah. already set, and it was weird because like it wasn't a change. It was all three of them was 132. 
Yeah. Not 131, like not 130, it was all 132. That's kind of hard to believe. Man, look, after, when Brittany walked away, I played again. And I, I think I missed two shots, shooting as quick as I could, and I barely broke 100. There's no way, unless it's the one guy that shoots with both hands, mm -hmm. like that guy might, might be able to do it, but anybody else, they're not doing it. So, uh, now, if you're someone that's walking the strip, and you just want to come in and play some games they do have a lot of new games and you don't really care about tickets you might have a completely different experience that we just had here but you know for us and our money and you know with space deals right down the road right around the block let's you know. show you what we got this is what fifty dollars gets you here a yeah. neon sign um it looks, hopefully it works it looks really this tiny. little lappy taffy and this a was three four hundred three twenty five what that was, yeah. yeah. And that was like a thousand, yeah. almost two thousand. There was a dog that just walked by, right? And he just photo bombed us. A big white dog. I seen him. It's the polar bear going around. Yeah. He's in All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you next time. Bye.